Hello, my name is Kristen Miskalik and I am a teacher turned instructional designer at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon, Canada. Being from the prairies, I always had a hard time teaching my students about SDG 14. My students are nowhere near the world's oceans, so it was really easy for them to feel unmotivated, unfocused, and just not interested in learning about the impacts that they have on our world's oceans, seas, and marine life, or how they can help make a difference in the future. Our landlocked students are who inspired Nicole and I to develop our project, Bridging the Gap, using virtual reality to teach sustainable development goal number 14. And we are excited to share it along with some other practical information here at the Connected Learning Conference. We hope that you can leave inspired to create change in your own way. And now I will let my project partner, Nicole, introduce herself. Hi, my name is Nicole Lamroux. For the past decade, I've had the privilege of being a high school teacher in the city of Calgary, Alberta, where I've had the opportunity to nurture young minds and foster their growth. Recently, I've earned my master's degree in educational technology and design from the University of Saskatchewan, where I've learned to leverage the power of digital technologies for learning to enrich the educational experience. Both Kristen and I are deeply concerned about global issues, particularly those tied to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. Today, we are excited to share a project that centers on Goal 14, Life Below Water. This goal speaks to the urgent need to protect and sustainably use our ocean, seas, and marine resources for the benefit of present and future generations. We believe that education, with the aid of digital technologies and innovative tech-infused curricula, is a powerful catalyst for change. Through our project, we are striving to make meaningful transformations in how we approach and address this global concern. So let's dive into the depths of our project and discover the bridge to possibilities that lie beneath the surface of this crucial issue through our metaverse platform created using FrameVR. To start, there is some background knowledge we want everyone to have that is specific to our project. The Sustainable Development Goals are a set of 17 global goals that were established by the United Nations in 2015 as part of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. These goals were designed to address a wide range of social, economic, and environmental challenges facing the world and to promote sustainable development in a holistic manner. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 14, Life Below Water, is a global commitment aimed at conserving and sustainably using the ocean seas, seas and marine resources. This goal recognizes the crucial role that marine ecosystems plays in supporting life on Earth, providing livelihood for millions of people, and mitigating climate change. SDG 14 encompasses a wide range of targets, including the prevention of marine pollution, prevention of marine and coastal ecosystems, sustainable fisheries and management, and the conservation of underwater biodiversity. By addressing the challenges facing our oceans and seas, SDG 14 strives to ensure their health and resilience for future and current generations. The primary objective of our design project is to create an immersive and interactive metaverse that can harness the power of micro learning content. Our aim is to empower high school students by providing them with an engaging and educational platform that fosters a deep passion for sustainability, while specifically addressing Sustainable Development Goal 14. Our overarching goal is to develop a metaverse that not only captures the imagination of high school students, but equips them with the knowledge, skills and abilities needed to make a meaningful impact on the preservation of marine ecosystems. We aspire to cultivate a genuine passion for sustainability within their young minds, enabling them to become informed and active global citizens. Within the educational content that we have developed, our immersive virtual reality experiences, experience created in FrameVR places high school students and teachers at the forefront of sustainability issues surrounding our oceans. Our design approach emphasizes collaboration, gamification, brainstorming, design challenges, and competition. This learner-centric approach encourages active participation and engagement, 
which allows students to construct knowledge and develop critical, critical skills related to SDG 14. Virtual reality, or VR, is a powerful tool for enhancing student motivation by immersing learners in an engaging and interactive environment that they may not usually have access to. Unlike traditional classroom settings, VR offers students the opportunity to explore in 3D, making learning more immersive and experiential. This sense of presence and interactivity captivates students' attention and encourages active participation along with acti activating learners' spatial memory. VR provides a novel and exciting way to learn that ignites curiosity and motivation, making the educational journey both captivating and memorable for students. We have designed our learning environment using micro, micro, micro content that learners regularly engage with. Micro content is small, bite-sized pieces of information or multimedia content that are designed to specifically convey an idea in a short amount of time. The video on this slide is showing some of the micro content within the platform. Throughout the metaverse, learners encounter various multimedia elements such as interactive polls, personal stories, infographics, videos, audio lessons, TikToks, articles, and learning games to enhance their understanding and engagement of SDG 14. The metaverse is designed to have a collaborative learning aspect. Students are able to connect with their teachers and peers through direct conversation with the platform to further enhance their understanding of the curricular outcomes and build empathy, education, and awareness for their oceans. You are able to have a personal conversation with those close to you in the platform, use emojis to communicate, and there is an option to use the megaphone to call everyone within the platform to meet in a certain area for direct teaching if needed. The communication aspect is exciting and fun for learners. It also fosters diverse perspectives, social interaction, knowledge sharing, global connectedness, and builds classroom community. As a brief overview, our metaverse is divided into three sections. First, the overview section, which provides a comprehensive introduction to the main components of goal 14. Students gain a broad understanding of the importance of preserving life below water. Next, there is a prevention and protection section. Here students delve deeper into the efforts they can make in their daily lives to contribute to ocean conservation. They learn about sustainable practices and the significance of responsible behaviors. The last section focuses on current events and efforts where students gain insight into real world issues related to goal 14. They explore ongoing initiatives and solutions, inspiring them to take action. In terms of curriculum int integration within the three sections, our project aligns with SDGs 14 specific targets outlined by the United Nations, including reducing marine pollution, enacting laws to protect the oceans and minimizing ocean acidification through scientific cooperation. It also addresses crucial learning objectives, such as an understanding of marine ecology, recognizing the ocean's role in providing food and jobs, and comprehending threats to ocean systems like pollution and overfishing. Not only does our platform connect to the learning targets for the sustainability goal, our virtual reality metaverse seamlessly integrates within the Alberta and Saskatchewan high school curricula, making it a valuable resource for educators. Our project connects to various subjects, including English, science, and social studies. Therefore, it reinforces the relevance of SDGs in different areas of education. It is our hope that the end result of this metaverse is to provide students with enough background knowledge surrounding SDG 14 that they are inspired to create change. The platform gives rise to the opportunities for students to create an innovative project to protect their ocean through their local watershed, thus in turn making this project a valuable resource for empowering high school students to become global citizens passionate about a more sustainable world and ocean. Now Kristen will explain more about the user experience from the platform. When designing our VR experience, we always had a focus on schools. The majority of schools across Canada and North America are under-supported and underfunded. This chronic underfunding of educational institutions has a profound impact on educational ecosystems, and it often results in inadequate textbooks, 
uh, inadequate technology infrastructure and a shortage of qualified teachers. These deficiencies in turn hinder student access as well as success and doesn't prepare them for the challenges of the modern world. So recognizing these challenges, we embarked on a mission to ensure that as many schools as possible could integrate our transformative experience into their educational uh, programs. So with this in mind, we made choices that would allow most schools to integrate this experience in some way, shape or form. So the first decision that we made that had a huge impact on the user experience was selecting Frame VR as our platform. So Frame VR is a web-based virtual reality platform that allows users to create, collaborate, and share immersive 3D experiences without an extensive knowledge of coding or technical expertise. So uh, this user-friendly interface um, for building VR content includes interactive environments, 3D models, animations, and more. Uh, users can collaborate in real time, uh, making it suitable for team projects such as our um, experience and for educational purposes. Frame VR supports viewing on headsets, computers, tablets, mobile devices, making it accessible to a really broad audience, which is something we wanted in our experience. And overall, it simplifies the process of creating and sharing VR content, making it more accessible for learners of all abilities. So Frame VR allows the content to be accessible to a diverse student body and allows learners to engage with the content in a way that best suits their needs and resources. The next critical decision centered around how we could enable seamless navigation within our educational platform. So after careful consideration, we opted to develop a self-paced immersive walkthrough environment that offered um, our students a tremendous degree of autonomy in engaging with the content. So this approach empowered our learners to delve into the metaverse, use the various devices and input methods, and whether they preferred the tactile control of specialized controllers paired with a headset, or the familiar navigation keys of a computer, or the intuitive touch screen gestures on a tablet or mobile device, um, they were able to interact with the platform in a way that suited them. And this versatility not only enhanced accessibility, but also fostered a dynamic and engaging educational journey for all of our students. So to engage the user, um, they are first met with a storyline that gives purpose to their exploration. So in, in addition, students have a learning journal that accompanies the experience, leading them to all different areas of the island and providing context to the learning. Through their exploration, students are met with various interactive activities to keep them motivated in their journey and engaged in the reflective practices that are proposed. Uh, to reduce cognitive load, students mainly interact with micro content within the metaverse. So this includes videos, infographics, audio, uh, and curated teacher-made uh, posters or resources. Uh, this form of delivery provides concise information that includes only the most essential information. It also breaks down those complex uh, concepts or information into smaller, more manageable chunks. This allows students to absorb and understand the information more easily with less cognitive strain. The final piece uh, to the user experience is collaboration. We wanted to ensure that students uh, were given lots of opportunities to collaborate with their peers. And so students are encouraged to experience the metaverse together allowing for lots of opportunity to discuss the information presented and for them to work together as a team on real world solutions. The collaboration helps students with their communication skills, problem solving, conflict resolution, empathy and perspective taking, leadership and social interaction. All of these skills are really important in being able to make an impact on SDG 14 in the future. 
Collaboration also contributes to student engagement and motivation, which in turn makes the learning more fun. So in our journey to foster an engaging and interactive learning experience, we harnessed a diverse array of interactive activities within our educational platform. One of the standout features is the integration of gamified elements, and that is exemplified in our scavenger hunts found throughout the metaverse. Uh, this interactive quest propels students into a thrilling journey that takes them all through the metaverse and challenges them to uncover pollution, uh, often found in our oceans and waterways, as well as cr the creatures that are most adversely affected by plastics. This not only imparts critical knowledge, but also encourages exploration, making learning an adventure, an, an adventurous endeavor. To further uh, stimulate critical thinking, we've seamlessly embedded Padlet discussions within our platform. So these thought-provoking uh, discussions serve as a digital forum where students can freely express their insights, understanding, and personal perspectives um, on SDG 14. And it also fosters a sense of community among peers and collaborative learning while promoting deeper understanding of uh, the subject matter being SDG 14. In addition to those engaging activities, we've also um, introduced polls so providing students with a platform to express uh, their well-informed uh, opinions anonymously. So this feature not only encourages students uh, to participate actively in the learning, but it also uh, helps learners gauge their understanding and see how their views align with their peers. Uh, by incorporating these various interactive elements, our platform aims to make the learning experience not only informative, but also highly engaging, dynamic, and thought-provoking. Now, as mentioned previously, we did create a learning journal to go along with our metaverse. So the learning journal served three main purposes. First and foremost, the learning journal was designed to serve as a scaffold for the learning journey. So it provided a structured roadmap, instilling purpose into the exploration of the metaverse, and within its pages, learners were presented with purposeful tasks and challenges that encouraged them to meticulously seek out and engage with the valuable information found within the immersive virtual environment. So this meticulous approach not only ensured comprehensive knowledge um, acquisition, but also fostered critical thinking and problem solving skills. Another pivotal role of the learning journal was to seamlessly merge the VR experience with the classroom experience. So it acted as a bridge connecting the two realms of learning um, and learners were encouraged to document their journey within the metaverse, uh, enabling them to later share their knowledge and with their peers and within the classroom as a whole. So this collaborative aspect of the learning journal not only promoted peer-to-peer -peer learning, but also facilitated lively discussions and knowledge exchange between students, which then enriched the overall educational experience. Lastly, the learning journal served as a dedicated space for reflective practice. So it provided learners with an opportunity to pause and introspect on their learning journey, facilitating self-assessment and self-awareness. And through reflective exercises, students could consolidate their understanding, identify areas of growth, and chart their personal, personal development as they progressed through the educational program. The learning journal included both formative and summative assessments. And some of those activities included compare and contrast activities, uh, reflections, creative writing, flip grid conversations, which are video conversations rather than the usual text-based um, discussion board type things, uh, five W's activities, summary writing, quizzes, as well as uh, connections to our local waterways in experiential learning um, opportunities. So to wrap up our presentation, we'd like to invite you and your students to check out our project. 
You can scan the QR code on your personal device, or you can visit framevr.io backslash sdg-14 on your computer. You can also scan the QR code to download a copy of the accompanying learning journal so that you can participate in the activities and find a deeper understanding of SDG 14. In copying the learning journal, you'll also be able to make any revisions you need to suit your students and your um, local area. Um, if you do choose to take advantage of the learning opportunity we've created with your class, we would love to hear your feedback so that we can move forward in creating more immersive learning opportunities like this one regarding the other 16 SDGs. So if you do take um, advantage of this, please let us know how it worked with your students, uh, any feedback, constructive criticism, we're open to it all and would really appreciate that. Finally, if you're interested in how the learning in our metaverse can relate to outside initiatives, please take a look at the Watershed Project for Canada. So our students were encouraged to participate in the Caring for Our Watersheds student competition, where they innovatively designed a solution to support the care of a local waterway um, source that feeds into the ocean. And so the uh, teachers encourage them to do this, um, and you're certainly encouraged to do so as well, uh, so that we can start making a difference right now. Thank you for viewing Bridging the Gap, using virtual reality to teach sustainable development goal number 14. And we hope that this information presented to you was useful, that you leave feeling inspired, and you're ready to contribute to the SDGs as a whole and SDG 14. Um, our future depends on it. So thank you for stopping in.